We head to South Africa, where the United African Transformation says it's pulling out of the government of national unity after it claims the African National Congress negotiated with it in bad faith. UAT Head of Communications Mighty Mabule said the party has consistently emphasized a need for progressive leadership and good governance for the people of South Africa. The UAT, which did not receive any ministerial posts or chairperson positions in the committee portfolios, announced its decision to join the opposition benches alongside the Mkonto Esizwe party, the Economic Freedom Fighters and the African Transformation Movement. To discuss this, we're joined by Mighty Mabule, United Africans Transformation Head of Communications. Hello, Mighty. Thank you for joining us at this time. And thank you. Thank you for inviting me to, to your channel. So, so, Mighty, can you confirm the reports that uh, UAT has decided to pull out of the government of national unity? Uh, if yes, uh, please take us through some of your reasons you know, behind this decision. Yes, I would like to confirm the reports that uh, indeed uh, uh, United African Transformation has decided to pull out of government of, of, of national unity. But I would like to, to correct the statement you know, that you have actually articulated that we have decided to join the opposition benches, not yet. So yes, uh, we met the leadership of the African National Congress on the 22nd of June. And that's when, we, that's when we had the first meeting. And we had the second meeting on the 25th of June, where a statement of intent was just signed. That was when we were actually indicating our intention to be, to be, to be part of the government of national unity after an invitation by, 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 by the Secretary General, by the leadership of the African National Congress. So after <laughs> to the media none of the parties should make any public announcement about our participation in the government of national unity hmm. so we, we we acted in accordance with that particular decision where we didn't you know publicly inform anyone we didn't even inform our members because we were acting in accordance with the agreement that has been reached now we were amazed to realize that the the, the african national congress is not coming back you know, seven days has passed. We wrote to the Secretary General of the African National Congress. No, we didn't get any response. We engaged the, 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 the Deputy Secretary General. We even indicated that the National Executive Committee will be meeting. Maybe our matter will be discussed in that particular way. No response, no feedback from them. We even engaged the Chief Whip of the, of the African National Congress in Parliament. We did not get any response from them. We were surprised to hear the president make an announcement mm. that a, a, a United African Transformation has joined the GNU, and this is one of the parties that is now part of GNU. And we were absolutely surprised by that statement because we did not get anything. We did not get any signed document. While the agreement said, after we got the signed document, is then that we can be able to sit down and look at our participation and role and make any, any, any public announcement. But we're surprised when we hear the statement by the president, you know, telling all South Africans, telling the whole world that United African Transformation is part of the GNU. And we realized that, you know, the negotiations were not really in good faith. We felt that we were actually undermined. We felt that our existence as, as an organization is not actually recognized. And remember, we are leading, you know, we, are, we, have, we have many uh, uh, mm. members that were waiting for us to make that announcement. And they were waiting patiently so. Now, when they see this on, on, on TV, when they hear the president making such an announcement, they were also surprised, you know. Now, they looked at us as the leadership as if we were people that were not, uh, we, we, that, that are not actually giving them information. So, in summary, we pulled out of, of government of national unity. Okay. Nothing has been signed. We did not get any feedback from them, no communication from African National Congress. That's why we decided to, to make a statement that said they were negotiating in bad faith. 
they did not recognize our existence, then we don't think it's necessary and important for us to participate in the government of national unity. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mighty, for clarifying that with us. We will be speaking to you subsequently to understand what role the UAT would be playing in the future of South Africa's uh, political landscape. Mm -hmm.